big one coming up the international lightweight contest Takahito Nakano a former Japanese lightweight champion he's up against Shane the Hammer Knox from Australia and here's Knox making his way into the ring Nakano's already there and Knox giving away advantage in height and reach to his Japanese opponent Shane Knox into the ring it's really a comeback trail now for him Marty Rowe it is very much into the ring to the music of MC Hammer of course and uh, it is this is uh, about the fifth fight back for Knox he's managed through five straight victories to get uh, into the top ten in all the world rankings very important fight for him I think a victory over Nakano who's a former Japanese lightweight champion could uh, could give him a shot at that world title all right we'll pause for the national anthems Mr. Marty Roan presents the feature event of the evening, an international lightweight contest scheduled for 10 three-minute rounds. Introducing, fighting out of the red corner, scaling 61.75 kilograms. On just his second year as a professional, he became junior lightweight champion of Japan. On his 10th professional bout, in a knockout victory in the second round, he was crowned National Japan Lightweight Champion. 13 professional bouts, eight wins. Six of those wins have been inside the distance. Has been victorious in six out of his last eight professional bouts. From Osaka, Japan, a big welcome, Takahito Nakano. His opponent occupying the blue corner, scaling 61.95 kilograms. As an amateur, he boxed on 50 occasions for 40 wins and became Queensland's Golden Gloves amateur champion, national amateur featherweight champion in 1983, 84 and 85, and was a bronze medalist in the world amateur titles in 1983. To his credit, he was a representative in the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. Major wins as a professional have been over former Mexican world contender Tommy Cordova and former Australian junior welterweight champion Pat Laglis. Undefeated in 15 professional bouts, nine of those wins have been via the short route. Number five contender in the WBO, number nine contender in the WBA, and number 10 in the IBF official world rankings. Current reigning Australian lightweight champion from Fortitude Valley, Brisbane, Shane the Hammer Knox. Could everybody be upstanding for the respective national anthems of both countries? Firstly, of Japan.
ladies and gentlemen, the officials for this well, principal event. The anthem's out of the way. The few nerves. Flutters in the tummy. The yes, very much so. Well, let's have a look how these fellows measure up here this afternoon as we look at the tail of the tape. And as you can see there, it's the, the weight of the height and the reach that Shane Knox is going to contend with here this afternoon. Takahito Nakano, uh, his left hand should be coming at Knox all afternoon. Yes, and he's got, he's got a very good right, straight right as well. Knock a bar of a gun. Get the punches up, okay? Get them up. Here, here, here. Now here, now here. Okay, Shane, shake hands. Shake hands, please. Best of luck to both. Four. Referee for the contest, Phil Maines. Billy Males. Corner man for Nakano Kinoshita, who fought fighting Harada. There's a physical similarity. Yes, so I noticed a few nerves from both fighters there. Get them up. All right, schedule for 10 three-minute rounds. And both boys in white and red trunks. Oh, oh. By golly, have we seen the end of the fight? He's gone, Nakano. He's on his feet. I think he might have to stop it. He's, he's on his feet. He's he is wobbly. Shane Knox has come out and has panic and poleaxed him. It's all over. Unbelievable! Knox has just KO'd the former Japanese lightweight champion in approximately 10 seconds. The Japanese camp are not happy. They are absolutely stunned that the contest was stopped. Nakano saying he's okay. His trainer telling him to sit back on the stool. Referee Billy Miles has stopped the contest. Now the crowd is starting to boo the decision and the Japanese camp are not happy. Knox has come out, put him down within about the first 10 seconds of the contest. Now there's no doubt Nakano was hurt. His corner trying to say he was boxing his way out of trouble, Marty Run. He was in diabolical trouble. Now whether it should have been stopped or not, I suppose the arguments will continue. But there's no doubt he was hurt. The thing you have to consider here is that there's no doubt Nakano is very upset and I feel for Nakano. But the thing was, when Nakano stood up, we were watching him here, his legs were gone. That was my view. His legs were gone. We might see it here. Now here it comes. Left hook. Down he goes. Now he's absolutely no man's land. And he gets up very, very wobbly. Has a look at the corner. So he obviously knew. And then you can see there is absolutely wobbling. He's just trying to stay and stand his ground. Knocks over in the corner, another vicious left and then right. And the fight has stopped. I think that, you know, in those situations, the crowd would like to see the fight go on. Everybody would like to see the fight go on. But the problem for the referee is, what would happen if he did let the fight go on? That is the big question. And I think, you know, the, the safety of the boxer must come first. Well, I thought Billy Miles was going to stop it when he got up. But he had a look at Nakano. And then decided to let him box on before Shane Knox went over in the corner. And there's Takahita Nakano. Well, he's depressed. Shane Knox has had an early afternoon. I don't think Knox would be all that happy about that because I really do think Knox was looking forward to a workout. Oh, all right, we'll take a break, grab a breath and be back in a moment. Welcome back to Seagulls and an unbelievable finish to the lightweight contest, the international lightweight contest. Shane Knox, 28 seconds. That was some win. Yeah, Ellen, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that short. I've been training hard for this fight. We've looked at tapes of the bloke and the referee, Billy Mail, stopped the fight and the crowd didn't like it, but it's not my fault. I can't make the fights last. I'll get in there and do my job, and if they finish soon, they finish soon. Did you think Nakano was gone? Yeah, I had him gone. He was definitely gone. I got him with a beautiful left hook out the start, and I knew I had him then, so, you know, I'm glad the referee did stop it because he, he would have stopped it eventually anyway, sooner or later. The Japanese camp blew up a bit. Yeah, I think so, but uh, he was definitely gone, and it was only the start of the first round. It was only 30 seconds, so I don't even think he would have lasted the round out anyway because I had his measure and I was looking, and, and I knew where his weaknesses were. Righto. 
what's next? Uh, just a bit of a short spell for the next three days, and uh, I'll take it easy, and then I'll get back into the gym next week, and then uh, hopefully my promoter, Marty Roan and Steve Dollar will sit down and talk about my next opponent. All right, 28 seconds. That'll be the quickest paycheck you've had, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I've, uh, it's not the, the, the paycheck, it's all the training that goes into it, Alan. <laughs> well, congratulations, Shane, and a great effort this afternoon. Thanks a lot, Alan. Thanks very much. Shane Knox winning from Takito Nakano, knocking out the former Japanese lightweight champion. 28 seconds into the first round. Well, that's it. All the actions from Seagulls this afternoon. It finished on a sensational note with the win of Shane in 28 seconds. That's all from Seagulls this afternoon. I'll take you back now to Max and Ken.